So this little video is just to show the message history um, between me and Sri Nitya, Nityananda Paramashiva, or back then he called himself Sri Nityananda Swami. Um, his nickname in my chat is Sadashiva because he changed me to Shaktis. Um, so here, like I don't want to go message by message through everything he's ever sent me, so I'll just scroll up to the very top. Um, I mean, he sent me this picture, who knows what the hell that means. He used to send me these doctored pictures of himself, making himself look like a hero. Um, you know, he changed the chat messenger icon to a little kissy face, so it's not a thumbs up. He used to send that with blessings, blessings. Um, so the kiss face was basically um, his version of a thumbs up for me. So this is when I was going to drop Kavi um, back in March of 2018, when I first had that idea. Um, so this is him basically love bombing. Um, what he's saying about Pranapriya and Nyanatma and Nityananda Mai Swami, who's Ranjita, um, he found out that those three were kind of yelling at me because I was going to stay at my mother's house instead of a temple when I left. Um, I think they were suspicious that I was leaving. So he says, yes, dear, all fellows who are jealous of the love interest I have with you should be taught a lesson. So he's trying to love bomb me and tell me that the reason these women were um, attacking me is that they're jealous. And that way, uh, the way they yelled at me, that he's trying to do damage control so they'll be mad at them, not him. So they're saying that I posted morphed pictures, but this is a, a more recent picture that it's not deleted yet, where he says, power of trust we both have, on each other is the source of our oneness and power manifestation. I want people to know that. I love you, dear. So his people are saying that those were morphed screenshots, like fake screenshots. But no, these these are all the love yous that he's saying. Um, he's asking me if I'm ready to be Parvati, which means, um, you know, at that time I was still going through deprogramming. So I was saying, yes, Swamiji, yes, I want to be your Parvati. I, I really do want that. Are you ready for right, not pleasant? Like he's telling me that if I um, go back there, it's going to be a difficult life. Um, so maybe when I write a book one day, I'll put the transcript of all of these messages from him. But uh, suffice it to say, I just wanted to share this <clears throat> so that people can see. Um, that I didn't post, you know, doctored screenshots of our conversations. Um, the reason the screenshots that I shared of his more pornographic messages to me had a different account, um, that's because at the time I took those screenshots, his account was different. Let's see, he was already knew, he knew that I wasn't even watching satsang at that point. So he asked, did I see his satsang that day, which I didn't. And then he gave me kind of the gist of what he said in that satsang. Um, I also want to point out that it's kind of sad for, you know, so many people who pay hundreds of thousands, even a million dollars, um, because they want to be close to him. He doesn't spend as much time, you know, sending them personal direct messages like this. Um, he basically just does that with people who, who he has a romantic interest in. Um, here, 4, 8, 17, at 7.55 a.m., he set my nickname to Shakti. And that, that's because he was trying to um, convince me that I was an incarnation of Shakti, and that's how he justified his sexual attraction. And yeah, so I changed his name from Sri Nityananda Paramashivam to Sadashiva. Um, and just to prove, if you click on this account, it's really him. Like, this is his personal Facebook account. It's not some other account. So yeah, just wanted to clear that up.